What's going on guys? This is Alex over here at My Freedom Smokes and today we're going to be talking about a brand new kit we got in, the iStick Trim. Now the iStick, uh, I really do like uh, the E-Leaf brand, especially their iStick line. Um, it always seems to be that the craftsmanship is really uh, well made. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're holding something that you know you can easily crush in your hand, uh, but it's still not overly heavy and the battery life is pretty good on it. Uh, so before we start going into the mod, because there's really not too much about this, which is one of the things I really like about it. Before we go into that, let's go ahead and open up the box, see what we get inside. Of course, you're going to get your uh, battery and your tank, which seats right here. Then on the inside, uh, your drip tip is not installed on the tank. Uh, the drip tip will come in your little extra baggie. Simply for the way they set it up, there wasn't going to be any room for the drip tip in the little cutout. You also do get your micro USB charging cable. Uh, your charging port is right here on the side. I didn't notice it at first. Uh, a lot of times when they have them up on the top here, usually that's for like a lanyard connection. Uh, so that's what I thought it was initially before I actually picked it up and really looked at it. It is the micro USB port right here at the top on the opposite side of the battery. And you do get an additional replacement coil in here. This one is a 1.5. Uh, the one that's pre-installed is a uh, 0.75 ohm. So this is technically a sub ohm coil in here. Uh, vapor and flavor, uh, you get both really well. I went ahead and put a 50-50 mix in here. I didn't put a high VG, um, mainly because I do kind of want, I wanted to check this out for my all day vape. So this has a bit of a higher nicotine level, but you know, out of a lot of them I've tried recently, trying to find maybe a new replacement for my eye care, this is the first one I've tried that really doesn't seem to uh, burn up that uh, coil too fast and still give me a really good flavor. Still a really good amount of uh, cloud production, uh, but for me that's really not important. I like my flavor and I like the way it feels. And I really like the whole way this kit is. The features on her are very easy. When you press and hold the button, you're going to see two sets of lights. Uh, the bottom set of lights are for your battery, and the second set of lights are for your uh, wattage output. I've got mine set in the middle, so it's going to be a medium uh, wattage. Uh, you actually do get, in your little instruction booklet, you get a handy little guide kind of telling you what your what your ohm resistance is, and then which on the medium, low, or high setting, how it kind of incorporates depending on the coil you've got uh, in there. So I've got mine in a medium setting. It seems to fire it really well. Uh, I get a good, uh, it's still a cool vape. It's not overly hot, but I can definitely tell it's there. To change those settings, uh, you simply just click your button three times. One, two, three, like so. And you see how it's changing at the tip top? that means that you're cycling through your different wattages. The tank itself is not a top filling tank. Uh, you do have to remove it from your mod to, in order to get to the coil. Uh, I don't feel like completely removing it, but I will be able to tip it upside down for you, show you where the brake is. Your brake's gonna be right there. Of course, your whole tank would get removed from the mod, but I've only got two hands, so I'm keeping it on there right now. So you will fill it up against the sides, making sure not to get any in the center hole. Then you're just gonna tighten it back up. And then in a perfect world, you're gonna put your tank back on your mod and you're gonna be ready to go. Uh, if you do get a little bit of uh, liquid into the center hole, it's okay. One, it's probably just gonna leak through your drip tip. But two, if you go to take a pull and it seems to gurgle a little bit, just simply take it and give it a little shake. Doing this little shake is just basically sending that liquid straight from the base out the drip tip, not into your mouth. And you're ready to roll. So eight out of uh, so I really would rate this an eight out of ten. Um, there are a lot of things I really do like about it. Uh, the battery performance is really good. Um, one downside I can see though, especially if you were to use a high VG liquid with that sub ohm coil. This tank would deplete really fast. I did already have to fill it up twice uh, since this morning using it. So for the fact that it does seem to want to go through the juice a little quicker than some of my other mouth to lung units, this one does get bumped down just a little bit more, but it really does make up for it in flavor and performance. So if you're willing to give up just a little bit more liquid, maybe about the same amount a typical sub-ohm tank would, 
If you're willing to give up that much, I highly, highly recommend the eye, uh, the eye stick trim. And as a little fun side note, you know that little useless change pocket on the side of your pants? This actually does fit perfectly right in there, so you don't have to worry about it rattling around with change, and you can put it in your pocket safely. So, until next time, thank you for vaping. <music>